Today the public examination resumes into the collapse of Queensland Nickel. Where hundreds of workers have been left without their jobs. Who's responsible for the company's collapse? For years, Queensland Nickel was known as a thriving nickel refinery that employed hundreds and generated millions for the local economy in Townsville in North Queensland. But in late 2015, the company faced severe financial challenges. The nickel price had plummeted and cash flow was severely impacted. When FTI Consulting was appointed as voluntary administrators, we took over business operations and started restructuring a business that was losing one million Australian dollars every week. But what started out as a mission to preserve jobs and protect stakeholders' interests took an unexpected turn. Once on site, we started by engaging with employees to better understand the business, and they started to pull me aside saying, I need to talk to you. That raised concerns. We needed another set of expertise, so we brought on our forensic colleagues to dig into the allegations of fraud that were being raised. And we enlisted the support of strategic communications to help manage the media firestorm because of the very dynamic personality that was at the centre of the investigations. Self-proclaimed billionaire so Clive Palmer's fortune morning. has taken a hit. His name was Clive Palmer, ultimate sole shareholder of Queensland Nickel. Back on site, our corporate finance team worked side by side with our forensic colleagues to follow the money trail. We also collaborated with our in-house experts from our global e-discovery and data analytics teams. We collected mountains of data. And uncovered mountains of questions. Time was tight, so our corporate finance and forensics teams began quickly chasing the missing assets. We added that assessment to our analysis and in April presented our final report to creditors. By that time, Queensland Nickel showed no sign of being able to sustain operations financially. Unfortunately, that left just one option, liquidation. Once we understood the gravity of the situation, our attention turned to recovering value for those impacted by the alleged fraud. We coordinated and fast-tracked assessment and distribution of payments. $70 million went to almost all 787 Queensland Nickel employees. And we reduced claims of more than 1,500 creditors by 200 million Australian dollars. Our clients call on us because each of our business segments is a leader in its own right. Big or small, high profile or low key, we deliver.